have this chair that I found on a curb and I believe it's probably 50s or 60s but the color is gross so I'm going to be refurbishing it so it matches my kitchen I'll remove the brackets and then I'll take that old vinyl off and use it as a template to cut the new stuff. I have to get these, whoops, my screwdriver thing, the thing of my GD fell off. All right, take two. I get these things off. Uh, wait, wait, oh gosh. Oh wait, duh, righty tighty lefty loosey. I was tightening them, what hell if I? Lefty Lucied, tightening it, dummy. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy. Now I'm lefty Lucying, and look at that, it's coming out actually. This is the bottom of the chair, and you can see that it's just stapled onto the wood. But this is the big problem here. You see, the foam is so old, it's coming apart. When you refurb old furniture, the foam usually does that. So I'm going to have to get a new piece of foam to put on the top and cut it. But we can do that. Easy, breezy, cheesy, lefty-loosey all of these screws. Do-do-do, Okay, now it's apart, and this frame, I'm going to spray the frame a chrome color. Here I sprayed the frame chrome, because that's going in the kitchen. In the spaceman kitchen. Orange. Maybe it's 70s. But it looks more snow. It's probably 60s. Ugh. Time to use these doohickers to pull these old staples out. These are coming out pretty easy because they're so friggin old do 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 got to be so super careful with old nails and staples because they're rusty you don't want to get poked by one so you can see how this pattern is going to be This is, this is pretty straightforward though. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing it outside is because this foam is like a thousand years old. Look how the weight. And it could fly all over the place and you don't want to breathe it in. I'm going to remove the staples with the grabby things because I don't want to get poked by old rusty staples. That's why. Because I like fingers. I like having my fingers. When you're taking these out, be sure to keep super close tabs on where they go. Because if you leave one on the ground and somebody steps on it, this DIY project is going to be turning into something more expensive than you anticipated with a trip to the doctor. And we all know how we can't afford to go to the doctor. So just take your time, be patient, and you won't end up with a staple in your foot. Now that it's peeled off, 
Let's see how disgusting the foam is. Now that I see it, it's actually pretty, still pretty, like, solid. I thought it was going to fall apart because a lot of old chairs just disintegrate. It's kind of disintegrating here in the holes, but I'll plug those up so the foam doesn't come out the bottom. That's what I'll do. Because this is, this is glued to the board. It's not like we're making a new chair for the Queen of England. It's just us, right? This is what DIY is all about. Doesn't have to be perfect. Looks like a hamburger bun. It's really, it's really hard, so. Thing with these type of upholstery nail things always seems intimidating, but it really isn't. I mean, it's just like a giant decorative nail. In order to get these off, see this is two separate pieces so I'm just gonna go around and pull it apart and they'll come out these are what they look like they're upholstery tacks and I'm going to buy some chrome ones because it'll look really awesome in the oh the sun come out god it was getting really cold Ooh, the sun's out is this better don't be afraid to tear things apart to see how they're made because then you can replicate it yourself. I've done the same with um, clothes. Now I can use this as a pattern to recover it. Especially if you get something for free, just go for it and rip it apart. That's how you learn. Hands on. Come on. Just gotta use both hands. Hand on. And clap on, clap off the clapper. Now there's more staples to remove the top part or the front part. And these are extra rusty. So got to be careful with these. Be super duper careful. This is funny. When I took the cover off, I found that there's they were actually recovered before. This is definitely 60s. But look. Wait a minute. Was it pink? Oh. It was pink checkered. Oh, I bet you it was red checkered. I bet you anything, it was a red checkered chair. It's kind of like a banana. Now that the things are off from the chair. I'm going to be using them as the pattern for with for the new vinyl. So I'm going to try to iron them flat. So let's try that. Let's try. I put down a super old towel because I don't want to get this stuff on the table. If it happens to leave color from the heat. And this is going to take forever. If I flip it over and put a paper towel on top of it. Let's try that. Okay, now, take two. Does that work? That works better. Okay. So it's just a matter of <clears throat> taking the time. Okay, that works. That totes my goats works. Just have to 
get the corners really good because they're like super tight there. Come on, let's go. There we go. There we go. Hold it down for a minute. Press it down. Press it, press it, press it, press it. Sing. I have the heat up all the way to this works pretty pretty cool pretty pretty cool so we have the back this is the pattern for the back piece where the little chip, 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 go in you know those bang 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 God, what are they called? Ah, uh, in this case, they're chair holder on her, fabric on her things. The bigger ones, you really have to like bend it because it's molded to that cushion for so many years, decades. You can see the way it's cut so it goes around lays nicely on the other side on the corner of course I suppose there will be people watching saying you don't do it like that or well I have a better way well I'm glad you do but I like to learn first, and then if I cannot figure something out to make it work, then I will ask your opinion. Okay? Okay, now we're clear and we're good on that. So, moving right along. Moving right along. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Kermit. Kermit the Frog. The reason why I'm doing it this way as opposed to maybe just taking the foam and tracing it onto my new fabric is because I make a lot of mistakes. And sometimes when you have, you know, you spend money on fabric. You don't want to take the chance of screwing up because you cut it then you can't you can't get back inches so that's why I'm going the safe route and using the original pattern don't forget to put the paper towel down if you ever tried to do this because it will stick to the iron and then you're screwed okay I think I want to try to flatten it out more like this part I'll get it as flat as I can and if I can't get it totally flat then I'll have to eyeball it but I think this will work okay now flipping it will be easier just use this side to flatten it hot flat let's hot flat it because I don't remember what the hell I even have in my hand what is this the heat flatter. 
iron, 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 iron. It takes a while to do stuff, but it's fun. the process is fun, and you learn how to make things yourself. It's just so gratifying, and it's cheaper. A heck of a lot cheaper and it's great for anxiety I'm pushing down pretty hard on the side to try to get it as flat as I can but because of being stretched out for 70,000 years it will still be kind of floopity duke, you know. But it's it's pretty flat. And it'll be this now it'll be easier to cut out a pattern. Make sure that you when you're touching all this old disgusto stuff that you don't don't put your fingers in your mouth or anywhere near your face because who knows what evil lurks in this disgusting fabric. Especially if you don't know where the heck the chair came from. I got this chair from the side of the road, so... Yeah. I will be washing my hands 72 times. At least 72. Boom, bitty, boom. Now we have the patterns. This is the seat. This is the back. And this is, you know, the headrest. And this is the back of the headrest. I got this fabric at Joanne Fabric, as a matter of fact, because I had to recover. <clears throat> I had to recover my kitchen chairs because the kitty's finger knives ruined the original. And this color is pretty close to, ah, bleh. Oh, I hate having sticky fingers. That's the grossest feeling ever. And this was a, the closest color to what I had originally on my chairs. Ugh, yucky. Sometimes, you know, you can take really good advantage of their deals. I had like a 50% off coupon. And I, yes, I said coupon. My husband gets so mad at me that I don't say coupon. I don't know, I just don't say coupon. I'll pin this pattern to this, to the new stuff. And I'm going to cut it like exactly so it lays nice in theory. I'm just going to like stick a hole through it because it won't go all the way through like it will, but I just want to tack them down. Flatten it. Flatten. Flatten. Like that. I'm going to follow this pattern super duper precisely. Soups dupes. As the kids say, maybe. I don't know. I hear the new word is fire because adding the word on is just too much work. Now it's time for this. This is a staple gun that uses these kind of staples. And this is what you use to cut, put 
put it onto the wood. Ta-da! See, we got it on there pretty good. Pretty good. There's disgusting pieces of the old foam that's kind of coming out. So I think I'm just going to, I'm going to add a piece of this here just so it doesn't come out because it's smells gross. I got the front done now. Gotta clean it. Could get got all dusty from the back. Now the back. This goes on the back. But I have to make a hem all the way around. And then I'm going to hem it, and then I'm going to put the fancy nails in, you know. So that's the next step. Wait, I got a yard. This is the back piece. And before I put it on, I'm going to, I'm going to make a seam just so it's easier when I tack it on. It'll make a real a lot easier. And I'll put them directly over this fabric. Like so. Got to make sure it's even first. And I'll start at the top. Bring it down a little bit. Not easy doing things with fingernails. That's for sure. There you go. There's the back and the front. The new back and the front of the chair. If I would have put a piece of cardboard in here, it would have laid flatter, but I didn't do that. But it's okay. It's a DIY. It doesn't have to be super perfect. I'm not a professional. I'm a professional do-it-myselfer. Now I have to find the holes so I could screw it back in to the frame. Pretty cool! So with a hundred in a box, I literally had just enough to go all the way around this and the back of this. Here she is, all done and brand new. It matches the chairs that I redid in the kitchen here because Mr. Meow and his <laughs> it was the same color I just redid it with that fabric that I got so now her ho her now her new home is here in my kitchen and She's super happy to live here now. This is a pillow that I made and I just found in the garage. If you were watching my stories on Instagram, we were cleaning our garage and I found these that I had made years ago. It's on the back of these cushions too. She'll get a cushion like this because Mr. Meow will want to try out the new chair. 
So there you go. From trash to flash, boom. Do you like the new chair? Oh, she's bowing down to the new chair. That's a good idea. Do you like the new chair, Fred? <gasps> Freddy, oh, there, see there, just bowing down to my work. Thank you so much. I don't need, I don't need <laughs> so many bows, kids. Oh, Lily likes the new chair. Do you like it? Do you love it? You're eating powdered donuts again. It's all over your face. The evidence is there. <laughs>